Today we are going to be doing a fun little pamper session. I'm going to have you pamper with me, which is very rare for me to do. For those of you who didn't know, I actually hosted a JCPenney event and it went really, really well. I had so much fun meeting you guys and just thank you so much for coming out. We pretty much shared our gift guides. I hosted along with Jessica from Happily Hughes. Definitely check her out. She is such a sweetheart. And we both shared our gift guides and some gift giving tips. And we also gave away some items. So it was a lot of fun. I know the holiday season is kind of coming to an end. And this time of year, although it's filled with joy and it's like a lot of fun, it can also be pretty stressful. I totally get that. So I think you guys should definitely treat yourself and pamper yourself as well. I'm gonna share some ideas here with you. All right, let's go get to pampering. First, I'm going to turn on my little mini crock pot that I got from JCPenney, and we're not using it for food, we're actually using it for our facial. Roll up some face towels or hand cloths and submerge it in water, and then place it into the crock pot. You could even drizzle in some essential face oils if you'd like. I'm just pouring some more water in, and then just let that sit. It'll take about 15 to 20 minutes for it to warm up so that you have your own steamed face towels. Also, I've been getting more and more into face masks, so I really wanted to try this natural one. It only takes two ingredients, half of a mashed up banana, and then mix in some honey. You really only need about half a tablespoon of honey, but I went a little bit overboard. Once that's all prepared, you can just set it aside until you're ready to use it. But first, we have to wash up. So to remove my makeup, I either like to use a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. Today we're using a cleansing balm. So I'm just massaging that all over my face to melt off all the makeup, all the grime. And then I just rinse off my face with some warm water, pat my face dry. And then today specifically, I wanted to hop into the shower. Nothing feels more relaxing than just hot, warm water sprinkling down on me. So I, I love it. And honestly, I'm usually so simple when it comes to body care. So when it comes time to pamper myself, I make sure to use a really rich hand cream, use some body butters for the legs, anything that will really enrich your skin. And then of course we've got to get dressed, so I'm just throwing on some loungewear. I'm also still applying argan oil to the ends of my hair. I actually just let it air dry, but usually I definitely do this right before I blow dry my hair and it just helps make my hair look and feel so healthy. All right, by now our face towels should be nice, hot, and steamy. They're actually really hot right out of the pot, so just be careful. Let the towel cool down just a touch before you place it on your face and let it steam your face. I also like to just rub off any extra grime. It's like a little bit of gentle exfoliating with the face towel before I apply the banana mask on. And this part can get a little messy. If I were you, I would definitely tie all of your hair back because the honey can be sticky and your hair might stick to it. And you're gonna let that sit on your face for 15 minutes. During that time, make yourself a hot beverage. I'm gonna go for this honey ginger tea. I love this one because it's not caffeinated, so it's really relaxing, and it also helps aid in digestion. Ginger and honey is just so great for you. After 15 minutes, you'll notice that the mask actually dries and it feels like this slightly sticky film on your face. We're gonna grab another hot towel and then you could even steam your face for another minute before you wipe the mask off. My skin seriously feels so amazing at this point, but we still want to finish it off by toning the face. I'm just using a really gentle one, and then I'm applying my First Aid Beauty Repair Cream, which I love this. This is amazing. It really just drenches my skin, makes it feel so hydrated, and if you have any flakies or irritated skin, it really helps soothe it. So I highly, highly recommend this one. You can actually find this at Sephora inside JCPenney. It's amazing how therapeutic just taking a little bit of time for yourself can be. It's joy worth giving to yourself. What do you guys like to do to de-stress and unwind? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of funny because I'm shooting the outro before we've actually even gone into pampering, but you guys have seen it. 
What'd you think? Did you enjoy it? Are you gonna try it out? Also a huge, huge thank you to JCPenney and Chictopia for bringing me on this hashtag joy worth giving campaign. It has been a blast and I also do have another giveaway in this video. So once again, we are gonna have two gift cards, two $50 gift cards to shop at JCPenney. So two of you guys will have a chance to win. All you have to do is just leave a comment down below letting me know what you're gonna be doing during your break. Do you have a break during Christmas? I hope so. Let me know what your plans are. And if not, what are you planning to do for New Year's? Just leave a comment down below answering one of those questions and I will pick a winner in about a week. So good luck to you guys. Thank you guys, love you so much. I'll see you next time. Happy holidays. For more Joy Worth Giving videos, check out this really adorable pet love video to your right. It is so cute. And then definitely check out the other video I did on the left.